Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time zone from wherever you're watching us from. Here is Mom as a Kitchen and More, and you're welcome to another great episode of Mom as a Kitchen and More. And on today's episode, we are making a great recipe, a finger licking recipe. But please, people, before we dive into this recipe, give me the permission to welcome the first timers on my channel. So please, if today is the first time you're going to see my channel, or you just walk a passing and you observe this authentic, delicious delicacy channel, or somebody out there told you about Mom as a kitchen and more you are definitely at the right place and please make yourself very comfortable by hitting the subscription button and the notification bell that is that small bell by the subscription button remember to notify for all so that you be among the first to be alerted as soon as i upload new videos for my other returning subscribers thanks for always coming to like watch comment and share at my videos i don't take your gestures for granted my fellow content creators thanks for always coming to support this channel so people as i said earlier on we are making a finger licking recipe a delicious recipe and this recipe is not other recipe but nyamarita so if you're a favorite nyam lover and you don't know how to make this recipe i assure you this is the simplest you have ever come across and you are so going to give me a thank back after those videos so i have a kind advice for you sit down in your couch cross your legs all eyes on the screen mind focus because i'm taking you straight to the cooking right after the intro don't touch the dog. Welcome back. So here you can see me doing what? Chopping the red scotch bonnet pepper or also known as habanero pepper and all this will be chopped and then thrown into this pot and then you can see me doing just that then i take the yam cut it into two equal hairs using one part but remember people i'm not going to fry the whole part that i cut out today so just check out and see how that is going and i'm just showing you that i'm putting that aside and then i will cut all of this in a circular motion so that is just what you're seeing keep watching people and now i'm just doing words peeling off the skin of the yam and i'm just doing this just to show you how i peel my yam because i know i've made some yam video but i don't think there is a place i showed how i peel my yam so you can see me doing that cutting off how i learned how to do that on my own <laughs> so if this is how you cut your yam let me know that in the comment section and now people you can see what i'm doing again i'm going to chop this yam into the shapes i want so this means that you can do the shape you love or anyhow you want it in this recipe so this is my favorite you can see the size all that into the pot. keep watching so i'm about to boil the yam just added little sugar after it's boiled up and then i open this yam is ready i will strain out the water line everything on my chopping board for it to cook faster then i'll be doing words i will break the egg into this plate and then i will add words just the chicken spice and then salt little salt if you don't have chicken spice please use your maggi i just have that and that's why i'm using it i also have my maggi but i prefer this and now i'm just copying out five spoons of all-purpose flour and that's what i'll be using for this recipe nothing added and now people you can see me dipping what dipping the yam into the egg already mixed and then back to the all-purpose flour and then i will take it back to the egg and then straight straight into the hot oil pan that's what i said don't forget the steps this is how you get it just the way you want it look at it now it is back into the egg and then straight into the hot oil uh-huh please in this recipe remember to fry in low medium heat don't put the heat to be high you if not you won't achieve your purpose and that color will not come out of it <laughs> okay people just keep watching and see how this is being done i'm showing you this step over and over because i want you to do it to get it right so keep watching and if you have watched it this time and you haven't shared 
me out. Ha ha. What can I do you now? Show me love by share me out. And God bless you. Bless all of us. A seizure. <laughs> okay, keep watching people. Not those people. If the yam is already sweet, please don't add sugar to it. Remember, the floor is just a plain floor and boil the yam as if it's ready to be eaten before this whole frying process. I want to also use this opportunity to thank my new subscribers. Oh my God, that was massive. Thank you all, thank you all, and thank you all. And for all that shared me out, oh my God, I do appreciate you always. I don't know, you people are so, so awesome. I appreciate all your love, all your efforts towards this channel. Look at that, well fried. Oh my people, are you seeing the color of this yam? Of course you are, Yamarita is ready hey check it out please thumbs up right now this is so so calling me did it just call your name i heard it calling somebody but i didn't hear that name very well if you know it called you and you're the person i heard put that in the comment section and if you're so gonna try this recipe just the way i made it please 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 don't forget to tag me and i will be so so grateful i assure you this recipe is the best you have ever come across and what is going into the center is sweet chili sauce uh-huh who is in the center a sweet chili sauce to dip it into the sour yamarita so yamarita into the sweet chili sauce gives you that taste that you can never imagine all cleared on the table look at what this thing is looking like chimo this thing just called my name and i'm answering it right away check out the taste check out the crunchiness that will come out of this oh my god if I had my fish, oh, and put it by the side of this Yamarita, that would have been the end of the story. <laughs> so, people, you can see this is so lovely. This is so beautiful. This is so inviting. So much water. I even forgot I was still videoing or recording <laughs> when I was busy. Chewing, chewing, chewing. Oh, oh, oh. People, let me shock you, people. The remaining one I left after tasting this was consumed by my son this is someone that does not love he doesn't really like yam but this pattern hey my he said mommy this is lekker if you're in dutch land you know what lekker is it means it is so sweet it is so delicious so try out this recipe serve it to your kids and give me a tank bath and this is good for dinner just take it and drink your tea and you say ciao that is till morning <laughs> all right people i'm drawing this curtain in a matter of time so it will be a great pleasure to have your beautiful and lovely gorgeous faces in the next episode of mom as a kitchen and more remember i love you all but in all god loves you more bye bye all I want, all I want.